Hey everyone, it's Becky Berg, and I just wanted to share with you this collection of K-5 math games. Um, this collection includes video directions, so that if students and families are playing these games at home, they would be able to see how to play the game through a video. And also, if you're using um, games during your workstations, this could allow students some support and a way to be independent. All right, so let's just take a look. First of all, just know my email's up here. If you have questions, um, this tutorial will be linked right there. And then over here to the right is just a tiny URL to access this document um, at BB Math Games. All right, so first of all, this first column is simply a link to the YouTube video. All right, what I did then is I took that YouTube video link and I pasted it into um, what is called safeyoutube.net. And once I pasted the URL in here, it generated a link which looks like this. Now the beautiful thing about the SafeNet links is now it the content's the same. However, you can see how nice and clean it is. All right, there's no extra things on the perimeter of the video. All right, so you'll see those are created for each of these games. Um, that way you can share them on your Weebly or perhaps share them however you choose to. Okay, the next thing I'd like to take a look at is um, the Google Slides. All right, so some of you use Classroom. You might um, like sharing this out via Classroom as materials or as an assignment. And so you can see that as we get into presentation mode, it is really easy to just click and it takes us to the video directions. All right. Also see that we have the math discourse and the materials, so it really makes it helpful to you. All right. Now the other thing that you'll see right above Google Slides in the purple is this reflection. So you could easily copy this slide and paste it right into this particular um, game. And then if you assign it to students and you make them a copy in classroom, they can then complete that reflection. All right. It will have them type their response here. There's a box. They'll be able to do that and then turn it in um, within classroom. Okay. Um, and then the last option is Google um, excuse me, is Seesaw. So you'll see that each of these games have a Seesaw activity link if you use Seesaw. All right. And so here you will see it here. You'll be able to save that activity so that you can utilize it. Um, and if we take a look here, um, I'd like to show you what this looks like. So as a student, when you click here, you'll see the image and then they can click on the link or the original or the doc. I like to show them to do the published link. And then they can easily once again see the information, view the video. Now, what's also nice about the Seesaw activity, let me come back here in Seesaw is there's a response template. Okay, now I am not in student view right now. So you would see the tools and these arrows are pointing to the recorder and the text tool. There's some verbal directions, but basically after each game, I'd like to know, hey, was there a strategy you used or was there something you did well? So kind of a reflection on that game time. All right, and then they would submit that to their journals. So once again, those are anything in slides and as a Seesaw activity, it will be a copy for you. So you can make edits to that, create your own exit ticket, um, adjust anything that you see fit. All right, you'll see these are categorized by topic. Um, I will continue to add more games um, to this collection. So I hope this was helpful to you. Enjoy and take care. Thanks, bye-bye.